Professor Enkret Tedigo, come a tutti. Professor, they're all yours for 21 minutes, like I usually say to all speakers. Thank you very much and welcome. I'm very glad to be here with you and I also thank the organizers for inviting me. As a matter of fact, I'm an old, I'm an elderly professor. I have been lecturing at the Sapienza University for many, many years. It is actually the largest university in Italy and in the last uh, few years, I have also been uh, committed to university policy with the role of deputy uh, rector and now also rector. It is a new um, telematics university, e-university, and because part of the learning in the future will be e-learning. So I'd like to tell you many things about the situation of university in Italy or on the most, the more complicated relationship with students, more complicated than in the past. So maybe I could talk about the research I pursue. As you know, university professors uh, really are a subject to a, a desire, a wish for immortality. So they keep writing and writing and writing. And I'm, I also possess this kind of feature. And I think that it's things, because I think that everything I write will be read by someone one day. Or maybe I can could talk to you about training uh, and the uh, kind of training that are courses that I uh, organize for trainers or educators. But maybe I should set all this aside because maybe I should be telling you something about myself, some, something about my life, starting from the very beginning, thinking that this also corresponds to the spirit of 21 minutes. So I'd like to speak to you about where I come from and what the anchoring points were that were particularly important. So my father was born in southern Italy and at six he was so unlucky to uh, lose his father. And you can imagine what the situation was like at the beginning of last century. He was the fifth of six siblings. He was the he and the younger um, uh, younger um, brother went to an orphanage. And the founder of this orphanage was a music lover. So all orphans were forced to study music. So my father and his brother too were forced to study music. My father, the um, uh, violin, the fiddle, and his brother, the viola. And a, a peculiar thing, not many musicians came out of that orphanage, but my father actually did become a musician. Obviously, I tried to reconstruct uh, this uh, story with him, which is a story in, well, of pain, of sorrow, by, uh, and we, uh, we know that sometimes things happen uh, in our lives that we did not cause, that they come from up above and they deprive us of energy. But maybe there is a chance to, re, um, to make, take a step backwards and to rethink them in order to build something new, a new project.